still working on your wish list and you told me please prepare savoy cabbage and I'm gonna give you creamy savoy cabbage right now. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen here in Munich, Germany. It's time to cook good things. In the oven there's a pork knuckle right now, you can see in another video. In the pot there's red cabbage, another video too. And what I'm gonna do now is another great vegetable. I will prepare creamy savoy cabbage. What do we need? One savoy cabbage, some butter, a little bit of nutmeg, salt and pepper of course, a glass of heavy cream, and optional in the end some walnuts. That's all we need but I promise you this is gonna be so delicious you want to take a bath in it in the end. First thing is to take all the leaves apart. <clears throat> the big difference to many other ways of preparing some vegetable in the German kitchen is that this is just heat it very shortly because we want to keep it crispy, we want to bite on it. You definitely need proper teeth for this kind of vegetable. When we have the leaves, take care of, of these bigger whiter parts, it's especially with the big leaves it's very important because we don't want to eat that, this is too hard. So I cut this out of every leaf. One thing about I like about Savoy cabbage is this different color, it changes from from yellow to inside to light green and to dark green on the outside. And when you mix it all together in your dish in the end, it really looks beautiful. Okay, I have a lot of boiling water here with some salt. And I take the prepared leaves and put them into this hot boiling water. This is not gonna take very long. We're having the cabbage in here just for two to three minute max. It's just to heat it once and you see it it loses its its, its stiffness, it, it gets softer, but it doesn't lose all of it so that we still have a bite in the end. Okay. Okay, now comes the cold water. The effect of it is it stops the boiling process immediately, it cools it down, and we keep the color of the Savoy cabbage. You see, it stays brilliantly green. That's an effect of having cold water on it now. All right, okay. Let's cool down. I will try to get rid of all the water that's inside. In the end I don't want to eat water, I just want to have cabbage. So I have to dry it a little. Okay, this is cut into nice pieces now. <clears throat> Here comes the cream. Some salt, pepper into the cream and as this is hot I will just pour my Savoy cabbage into it. I mix it with the cream, let it heat up and pour a little butter amongst it because butter is something that always makes you happy it's always good, it's not healthy, but it's brilliant for the taste. And when the butter is melt with the cream and everything is mixed well, you don't have to do a lot more, 
Here's my nutmeg. So the only seasoning besides um, salt and pepper is nutmeg. Be careful with nutmeg because I think the aroma is so intense and not everybody likes it that much. All right, that's enough for me. See, it's starting to get hotter as we want to have a crispy, fresh taste of the cabbage. We won't leave it too long in there. Okay, let's try this. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Might need a little more salt. Bit of pepper. Okay. Then it's all done. One more mixing. Okay. Here we go. That's my creamy Savoy cabbage, plenty of it. And just if you like, it's not a must have, but just if you like, I like it very much, you can pour some walnuts above that. Mm. Here we go, creamy Savoy cabbage. I think that really looks great and I like it. I'm a big fan of Savoy cabbage. Um, if you want to try it, you can combine it, for example, with uh, mashed potatoes plus some sausages or some meat, some cooked meat maybe. Um, but you also can eat it just as a vegetable. It works. I hope you liked my video. I hope you like my channel. If you do, please subscribe. Enjoy your meals. Take care.